Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and welcome to Cubemon 3D. Now, I was really hoping this isn't like Minecraft. <laughs> I'm really hoping it isn't. But from the looks of the monsters in the background, it, it's not like Minecraft where the monsters are like cubes. They actually do have like 3D models. But yeah, let's go ahead and create a character. There is no music at all, also. I think I like warmth, if it means anything. Now, warmth has the best looks. Just a trainer. Let's go in. Been a while since I played like a 3D version of a monster battle game. Oh god, that's the worst color to pick for this picture. Alright, so it is an online game. So obviously I'm going to have to put in a little bit of a wheel. So we have three cubes here. Hell of a cube sword of. So it looks like another game with its own created monsters and not just well known Pokemon. <laughs> well, let's just hope it's that way. We can't. We can't say officially that it is that way. At least not yet. Let's go ahead and save. Oh god, oh no. It is one of the janky moving ones. Why do people make those? I hate it when my pad's like all over the place. So keyboard's out of the question. Noted. Ah, uh, auto text. Oh no, auto text. I'm not even clicking anything. It was going by so fast. Check the stairs. Let me get my back. God damn it. How fast do you think I read? I read pretty fast, but at my own pace. Okay, so it has auto tracking too. I was about to say, who are you talking to? I am definitely not right there at that point. Oh no. So far, Nexon Mon is still blowing this game out of the water. I gotta see the monsters first and the battle scenes. Ow, oh, okay, that, that just stuffed it up a little bit. What's well, gonna come out of it though? Okay. It's so cool to use the muzzle sound effect. What the fuck just happened? Can we talk about that? I have so many questions. And I didn't get to read that. What? That. Okay. And grass type. I got that much. Does it turn into a Blaziken? That's all I need to know. I hate choosing just because the last form is the thing I always think of. What would it look like on this last evolution? These two are basically the same. It shouldn't have been allowed as starters. But fine, I'll take this guy. Oh. She actually looks dope. I actually like that. Hold up. Thank you for showing the final evolutions. That is definitely okay. Okay. That's definitely a smart choice to do that. I will 
doing that. Especially since you don't know the monsters and they're pretty new to you. I'm definitely taking this one. Guide me to my destination. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Oh, you want to train with me, bro? All right, then. Okay, so we do have like all the moves. It isn't like an auto game, thank God. Like most of the monster battle games that I've seen, especially Pokemon related. At first, it seemed like a pretty standard boring game. <laughs> and Nexon was blowing it out of the Well, yeah, Nexomon was blowing it out of the water. Now it got some traits to it. That I'm actually liking it and enjoying. Oh, there is an auto battle. There's time speed too, but you have to be level 10. Level 20, okay. You got some leveling up to do. Yeah, get out of my face. He's water gun. They still got the normal Pokemon moves, though. Which is fine, as long as they're not copying, like, the Pokemon straight up. I can deal with them copying the moves, at least. Oh, God. He's kidnapping lollies. It's Shadow. I knew it. song you can hear the reloop <laughs> that's so bad <laughs> oh boy anywho I want to look at these what do we get from these oh I get free stuff over here Oh god, this VIP. I mean, I should have saw that coming, to be honest. That was pretty obvious. So what the hell is this? Get crystals. Okay, so this is pretty much an origin pack, like, leveling up. So when I get to level 20, I can unlock another one. So pretty much like normal rare candies. Capturing tools. XP trainings. Like... Oh, these are pretty much the whole vitamin things that you can give your Pokemon. It's like... Increase their stats a little bit. That's not half bad. Alright, is that all we can actually do? He looks so weird. I always like to look at everything that is new. Yeah, who's rank one? Who's spent the most money? This guy? I, I figured. Oh, actually, he looks like he's VIP one. Is he VIP one? If he is, the guy is freaking amazing. Doesn't seem like he spent any money at all, unless that's misleading. He's just rocking all these guys. That's what's up, dude. We can even check my character. But can you change the avatar? That's the real question. Haha, -ha, you can. But I don't have any. 
Normally in all these type of games, they do let you change the avatars. Apparently I can add gold. Cube research? What? Okay, then. Yeah, we're not going to do that again. Online reward. So as long as you're online, you get that timer going down. Now let's keep going. So we can actually go inside of buildings. Okay. Noted. Yeah, thanks mom. Let me rest here. So you can actually... So you actually had to come over here just to heal your monsters. Noted. I like that. So it's pretty much like normal Pokemon, where they're not gonna heal like after battle. You gotta actually heal them yourself. Oh yeah, I forgot the whole auto auto text thing. Well, let's say one thing. The character models aren't to be desired, but the monster models are actually pretty dope. Especially the battle scenes. The battle scenes are half bad. So we got a gallery now. That is not what I'm trying to pick. Stop it. Get out of here. So gallery is pretty much your Pokedex. Okay, so you can't see the bright version unless you get it. And plus they also have um, the review list, so where you can see reviews of the monster, which I guarantee you there aren't going to be any smart ones, because what if they ever put in smart ones? Who has ever put in smart comics? Oh my god, they have like little costumes too? I approve. I think I would normally get this one now. The dev should hook me up with some free stuff. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, let's see. PA. Uh, okay, so these are my quests, my achievements. Okay. Oh, God damn it, go away. Hide. Hide it. Go away. Jeez, you're in the way, dude. It's kind of still funny that their, um... Their studio symbol is basically something that looks really sim similar to that Digimon. Can't remember his name, though. I was about to say, did I just get stuck in the battle? Oh, aren't you edgy with the one pants leg up? <laughs> oh, he he just wanted to stop me so we can throw hands. Okay, cool. What's up then, dude? What do you have? Oh, oh, you chose the, you chose the wrong starter, dude. Now you realize you screwed up. So also, if you're new to like typing games when it comes to like Pokemon and stuff like that, it's actually very helpful that they do this. That they tell you which one is stronger. 
So I'm guessing which one is ever weaker, they're gonna have like a down arrow for red for it not being very effective. It was super effective. Oh, that was good effect. <laughs> what? This guy looks pretty sick, what the hell? Yeah, it was both of these um, monster battle games I've played today are actually pretty dope. Did you just burn damage me? Suffer. I, it even shows you the uh, weather too. Like I said, the character models aren't to be desired, but the monster models are just fine, and I can tolerate those. <laughs> The monster models are all we need. We don't really need to care about the character model. Anything wrong? Anything wrong? That's what it could be. Is he British? I want to say he sounds British, but I forgot what British people sound like because I haven't really listened to any British people talk in like a while now. My reward. A R glass. Oh, you choose who you want to fight. Okay. Instead of like going into battle forcefully, they show you which monster you'll be fighting. Nah, really? <laughs> so he evolves three times, maybe? Alright, just checking to see if we get any rewards from that or something. It's funny because not many people play, like, all these battle mod games. You know, most monster games kind of suck. There are some decent ones out there. That's why I want to start showing golf some this week. Just to find the good ones from the bad ones. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we'll find plenty of bad ones. Hold on, I wanted to actually do something with that. What the hell? Uh, where did it go? Alright, so we can equip him with an item. The rest of our slots are locked. Oh, we gotta open them with... Wow. We can level to 20. Buy them with gold or level to 20. That's actually kind of dumb, but hey. I'm gonna have mine follow me. Come on, buddy. Let's go everywhere together. Alright, now you're level 8. Oh, I can replace one of your abilities. Um. This is a ghost attack, right? What is the information on it? I would need to know the information here. Okay, thank you. Never mind, you can click on it. I was about to say, well, hold up, timeout. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> I was about to say some, a few things like, dude, that's very dumb. Why would you not put the name or something? But never mind, they got it. Rude? How dare you? You're the freak catching bugs out here. Oh, hell no. That's poisonous. It, it needs to die. I wonder what confusion looks like. Ah! Hit yourself! God damn it, really? How rude. Get out of here. Oh god, Leafy's here. It needs to die. Drown it. Yeah, see guys, this is the best way you kill bugs. Just just drown them. <laughs> Oh god. Unless it's a water bug, then you're, then you're technically screwed. You gotta talk to this chick that just tried to battle us and called us freaks. Yeah, I already did that. Stop it. No, I did it already. Oh, you can actually see what route you're in, and uh, that's a little mini map. Abandoned cottage. I want to go there. Wait, what? The sunlight is too intense. I can't see. Boy! If I can't go in yet, just tell me I can't go in yet. I'm trying to make some BS excuse that makes no sense to it. <laughs> like, what? The sunlight is too bright, I can't see anything. That would have been our perfect opportunity to cast some ghost Pokemon, but all right. Okay. Going all the way back. Oh, so, yeah, so we can fight her at any time for, like, loot. Can you... Did you just ask her to take you back? But yet you want to fight me? I don't know, that bird has to die. That looks dangerous. Kill it. Please don't hurt me. Ow. Yeah, that, that, that's a good amount of damage. Mine hurts too. Not, not as much as yours though, apparently. Ah, oh, he's so adorable. Kill it. Aha! I have leveled up. No? How how about no? You must learn all of this for yourself, young one. What do you got? Oh, he has a little box. With stones. Oh, this is a, a selector. What the hell? Fight stone. I, I don't know which one to pick. I am going to be very honest with you. 
I have no idea of which stone to pick. I'm just gonna take water. I, uh, hmm. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, I have no idea where that was going. Oh god, you got TMs too? I don't have any HMs from what I see. Oh, we're in a city. Oh god, the city of lag, apparently. I want to explore the whole map first. I always like looking at cities inside of like different games, especially Battlemon games. It's all those bikes though. I mean, it, it just calls gold, why not? Oh my god. <laughs> We're living a dream, boys. <laughs> so you can just take one of those? That's actually pretty dope. I like that. Let's go around the town a little bit faster then. Yeah. Let's go up here. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, now that's a different zone. Me and my little segue here. Is that what they're called? Segways? I have no idea. I don't use these damn things. Oh wow, it's only used for like one mission? That's stupid. So stupid. At least give me a timer on it. I gotta interact myself. Uh, that's if she wants to interact with me. Okay, apparently I wasn't close enough. Alright. We're gonna skip through all this. That's pretty much where we're going to stop, guys. Ooh, extra rewards. So this has been Cubemon 3D. Which is really not half bad. It has a lot of potential. And plus, yeah, it has a pretty healthy community from what I see so far. So far. There's a lot of players definitely running around. Not a huge fan of the controls, considering I could move it everywhere that's really annoying like I said I always hate games that have that I'm wondering if there is some way I can lock that but as for settings it looks like I could just choose nicknames and default stuff not even not even anything important <laughs> like changing my graphics or anything it's literally just just these guys. That's it. Don't label it settings. Label this profile. Because I can't Okay. You know what? I'm gonna stop before I get tilted and we talk about... Well, I just give a whole lecture to the devs. But that really should be profile you guys should really have an actual setting. I, I hated that you have the joypad down here, but it moves around. Just, just have a, just have a lock right here, please, or a setting that locks it. Every game should have that. But before I get too into it again, 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Try out the game yourself. And I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose.